Hey guys, good morning. Happy Saturday. It's Daryl here. It's 6 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. It's going to be a short video. I just want to talk to people. I, I'm, I'm seeing more and more clips from the vaccination summit Trump held the other day when he was talking in front of the audience. And during a lot of that, he just kind of broke off on a tangent talking about how he won, even though this was supposed to be about uh, the uh, vaccine. And of course, the person that's going to be the, the, the president in charge of putting out this vaccine wasn't there, nor were any of the companies that made the vaccine. But hey, let's, let's, why, why let little things like that get in the way of a, a, good, a good opportunity to put out more rhetoric, more misleading information? All right, so through almost 300,000 people have died from the COVID-19 virus in the last nine months. I think the first death was about nine months ago. Nine months, 300 thousand people now that number a lot of people could just spew that out hey people get killed every day the flu car accidents blah 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 you know and people don't don't even think about the number unless of course it's in their family you know that's 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 one grandfather that's not going to be at christmas dinner this year that's one brother who's not going to celebrate new year's with his his family three hundred thousand times three hundred thousand families are going to be missing people and no, these are additional, 300,000 additional people missing as to what would have happened if, if we had a president that really was concerned about it instead of focusing on, hey, it'll burn itself out. Let, let's, do, let's do herd mentality. Yeah, herd, herd immunity. Let's do herd, herd mentality. It'll burn itself out. We only just need about couple million people, Americans to die, and it'll be gone. One day it'll just disappear after we lose a couple million Americans. And uh, so that's pretty much what Trump and his supporters are, are good with. Hey, it's just, the, it's just the sniffles. No big deal. Hey, and if you're one of Trump's friends, you're, you have access to all the best medications that nobody else does. Like Giuliani, who's been bragging about what, how famous people like him get the best treatment. Whereas if that was my grandfather... He, he'd be long gone. All right, so let's talk about this. Because um, these things happen all the time. People die, right? Let's say next year, uh, uh, AR-15 manufacturer uses cheap metals in his product. And uh, maybe one out of three times somebody fires that AR-15, the metal explodes in, in the firing pin area and it, it blows back into the person's face or, or cranial area, killing them, right? So next year, 300,000 people die from, while shooting the, their AR-15s. So going along with Trump's logic, why don't bother recalling them? People die all the time. Eventually, all these AR-15s are going to blow themselves out. You know, all the faulty ones will explode and kill people. And, you know, pretty soon there won't be any more faulty AR-15s left and it'll stop dying. The problem will disappear. We're right around the corner, right? That makes sense, doesn't it? So just, you know, take your chances. You got to live your life. You can't be afraid of things. Every time you pull that trigger, screw it. One out of three times, it'll blow back and put the, put a, put the firing pin through your, through your eyeball, you know, but hey, stuff happens every day. You know, can't recall all these things. It'd be bad for the economy. Just got to let the guns blow themselves out. Let nature take its course. And hey, if there's, you know, 3,000 less gun owners next year, so be it. It's the will of God. Just a little analogy I thought I'd present to you guys. Just Trump logic. All right. You guys have a good Saturday.